was the principle of work and energy, right? We saw how uh, using the principle of work and energy, we can directly relate force to velocities and displacements. Again, that's the that's the nice thing about it. Okay, it allows us. Uh, it can be more efficient to. Uh, use that particular method when analyzing problems rather than going through the route which we've been doing before which was to apply the equation of motion first and then apply the kinematic relationships to find the velocity the velocities and positions of interest when we know uh, what resultant force is acting on a on a particle right so usi se continuing on related to the concept of work is something known as power and now we'll we'll see uh, uh, essentially what that is and why it's so important. Now, this power. <coughs> let me see. Here. <coughs> power is basically the rate at which work is done. Mm. Oh, my tablet writing tablet is not working today. <coughs> yes, OK. <coughs> Power is the rate at which work is done. Now, the reason why that's important is because uh, in the real world, whenever we have things that are doing work or providing energy, for example, a motor, or for example, an engine, or for example, um, some sort of, let's say, a hydraulic actuator, or this or that, and so on. All of those things have a rate at which they can provide energy into a system, right? So, for example, when we have a chula, then we have a time rate ke upar hamare paas energy. Aa rahi hai. There's a rate at which something gets heated up. When I when I turn up the knob, probably I'm 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 increasing the rate at which energy is being input into my boiling water and so on, right? So the point is that it's not just enough to be talking about the total work or energy involved in a particular problem, but also at which the the rate at which that work is being done or that energy is being transformed uh, and so forth, right? So, so that's why this concept of power comes in uh, extremely uh, handy and is very important. <clears throat> so, uh, as I just said, that uh, the the sort of physical entities which do work or provide energy, they have a rate at which they do that work. Okay. So, for example, our engines, hote hain, uski, unki definitions and motors, they come with their sort of specified power output they come with a specified rate okay this particular motor is only able to provide uh, 100 joules per second right it the energy provide karegi is rate ke upar. so uh, it's important to take that into consideration for whatever particular application we may be looking at um, because the rate itself in a sort of a dynamic system is important right I'm dynamics ki baat kare, time ke saath change kaise ho rahe so so that's uh, that's what we're going to be discussing today so one example is again your motors and engines uh, let's see <coughs> if I've got another example yes so again this is an example of a car which is going up so the the property of interest to us is actually not really just the total work which the engine can provide but actually is the engine able to provide that work in a particular required time or not. So whether this, this car will be able to climb up the hill or not depends on the rate at which the, the energy or the, or the work is being done by that engine. Okay, so this is what we're going to be discussing today. <coughs> so as I already said, power is actually the uh, work done per unit time. Okay. So it's the rate of doing work, in other words, right? It's the rate of doing work. <clears throat> so 
uh, agar if you're looking at a particular instance then you guys are well aware that this rate is actually the time differential of whatever property we're concerned with so we are looking at the rate of work done hence why power mathematically is defined as just du by dt right the rate of doing work <coughs> now let's start to uh, basically substitute in what work is work we guys we all now know is the dot product of the force and the <coughs> and the displacement so if for the case of du which is our infinitesimal work then it's f times the infinitesimal displacement so f times dot uh, f dot dr so substituting f dot dr for du i then have this expression right here and now the nice thing about this is we know what this dr by dt is so this is the rate of change of position which is what that is our velocity so in other words power can directly be written in terms of the force and the velocity of the particle so that is it's a, and and again it's uh, what that exact uh, uh, expression is it's the dot product of the force and the velocity <coughs> now as before whenever you take the dot product of two vectors which here is the force and the velocity we're going to get a scalar so this power it's a power uh, then we know is also a scalar quantity um and again with the dot product it can either either be a positive or a negative uh scalar quantity depending on whether the force and the velocity are in the same direction or on uh, uh opposite uh, or in opposite directions okay so when it would be when the power turns out to be positive then the work is being done on the system whereas when the power is so to speak negative then that sort of that work is being or that energy is being extracted from that particular system <coughs> okay right so just uh, expanding it further we know now we i think aap logo ko apne vector calculus hai, as we discussed before already know that the dot product can also be written as a scalar quantity as just the magnitude of the two vectors multiplied by the cos of the angle between them that is it actually represents the dot product represents if this is the force and this is the velocity then it is representing <coughs> the projection of the force on to the velocity and then multiplying that projection with it okay matlab yahi again with the case of the of work done that it is only the component of the force in the direction of the displacement or velocity in this case uh it's only that component of the force which will be doing or applying sort of or providing power <clears throat> right okay uh what else yes so this is all straightforward right exactly so the unit again we can just find out what the unit of power is in terms of its base units by looking at what terms are being multiplied so it is the force multiplied by velocity so it is force ki terms which are a newton and then velocity which is meter per second so newton multiplied by meter per second and that is known in other words as a uh, unit called the watt <clears throat> named after james watt who uh, invented which engine i forgot he didn't invent the steam engine or something anyway after that man <clears throat> so this is the watt but abhi maine i since i've brought up the engine i might as well uh, describe this further so initially when uh, discussions of power came about in the 1800s in the early 1800s was the case when the steam engine was invented or what was happening was that until then uh, people were sort of applying pulling things or applying loads or driving themselves using horses so when the steam engine was created um, <clears throat> what was being measured was ki wo steam engine kitni वो किस रेट पे एनर्जी सप्लाई कर सकता है कंपेयर टू द हॉर्सेस सो व्हिच इज व्हाई द ओरिजिनल सो टू स्पीक द यूनिट ऑफ पावर वाज नोन एज हॉर्स पावर बिकॉज हॉर्सेस वर बीइंग यूज्ड एज द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ कंपैरिजन सो दिस 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 यूनिट वाज 
यूज्ड इनिशियली राइट और हॉर्स पावर भी अगेन इस जस्ट द यूनिट ऑफ पावर और द द कन्वर्जन बिटवीन देम इज शोन राइट हियर सो इफ आई एम इफ आई हैव गॉट वन हॉर्स पावर की इफ एन इंजन हैज वन हॉर्स पावर देन इट्स प्रोवाइडिंग बेसिकली 746 जूल्स पर सेकंड okay so this is the rate at which it is providing or or the rate at which it is doing work <clears throat> right uh, just any questions related to power <coughs> so far no okay <clears throat> right related to the concept of power is also this concept of efficiency now uh, efficiency is basically described as this ratio right here which is the output power <clears throat> being provided by an engine or a motor divided by the input power to that particular engine or motor theek hai ji ya phir in other words why don't you just call it a machine that's a much better yes so the uh, input द एफिशंसी इज एबल टू टेल अस कि जितनी आप इनपुट पावर प्रोवाइड करेंगे टू अ मशीन उसके अंदर ड्यू टू वट एवर लॉसेज हाउ मच आउटपुट आर यू गोइंग टू गेट राइट सो फॉर द इंजन द पावर इनपुट इज ऑफकोर्स कमिंग फ्रॉम द पेट्रोल दैट वी आर गोइंग टू बी बर्निंग एंड देन द पावर आउटपुट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ द किनेटिक एनर्जी और द ग्रेविटेशन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इफ यूर क्लाइमिंग सो इट्स बेसिकली इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाउ मच वर्क दैट Uh, engine is then able to do on the car right whereas if we have some other machine maybe we've got a motor jo pani lift kar rahi hai and so on and so forth so there's a particular power being input into it through the electricity coming into it and then it's driving that shaft which uh, uh, does the output work right or provides the output power so uski efficiency will be just the ratio between the output power to the input power and because of um, just frictional losses or electrical losses or uh, or some other maybe sound energy or uh, heat being lost and so on there will always be losses in a particular machine such that the efficiency is always going to be less than 1 right because the output power will always be less than the input power uh, of course uh, because there will be losses within that particular Uh, system so either it's just mentioning the frictional forces um uh, but as i said if it's like an electronic system then there can be electrical losses or electronic losses as well <coughs> right um also noting that if you're just looking at a particular system for a fixed amount of time uh then if you're just looking at it let's say for a time duration of 10 seconds then you don't per se need to look at the power you can just look at the total energy or the work being done on the system and being received out of it right because you fix the time frame over which you're looking at uh, then efficiency can also be um, defined in terms of the uh, energy uh, or the work being done okay like so so all things which you guys are pretty familiar with so these are this is a very straightforward topic and i think we'll just jump to some examples to see uh, um exactly why the power can be important basically okay <clears throat> again remembering that the power is a scalar quantity which is given by the dot product between the force and the velocity of a uh, um of a particle or a body so <clears throat> what we then need to do to find the uh, power is of course find the force and the uh, find the velocity uh, of the object or the particle on which that force is acting right so uh, to find the velocity we can either use our previous equation of motion and then the kinematic relationships or we can directly use the uh, principle of work and energy whichever one is uh, uh, quicker so to speak <clears throat> right uh, and then yes it's just the dot product so nothing too complicated uh ah yes so most of the time it's the force and the velocity expression that we use but please don't forget that power is it is the rate of work done so sometimes you may just know how much you know, work is being done by the system or how much energy is being 
uh, input into the system such that then we can just find that work done uh, per unit time. We just divide the total work done by the time over which it occurred. Uh, so do still remember that it is the uh, rate of change, rate of doing work. <clears throat> yes, and then remember that there is something known as the efficiency. Right, so let's jump right into some examples now. <coughs> Pens and papers out, everybody. I We hope to get through. What time is it? So uh, half an hour still. So we hope to get through um, <clears throat> three examples, inshallah, today. Right. So please have your pens and papers out, and I want us to do all of them. Okay. So there's a sports car which has a mass of two. What is this? Okay. Two, two megagram. Two megagrams. Okay. So that is. 2 into 10 power 3 kg. That's its mass. <clears throat> 2 to the power of 6 grams. But remember that the SI unit for mass is kg. So I need it in kg. And then engine efficiency epsilon of 0 0.65. Moving forward, the wind creates a drag resistance on the car of FD, drag force, 1.2 B squared. OK, so V is the velocity or the speed of the it's the speed of the sports car. It's the velocity magnitude of the velocity where V is the velocity in meters per second. The car accelerates at five meter per second square starting from rest. So what do we want to find? We want to find the engine's input power and T is equals to four. So just at this instance, we want to find what the power is. Perfect, OK. So <clears throat> uh, let's keep our starting procedure the same, which is that I'm going to draw out the car, have my X and Y coordinate system, and then let's draw the, the forces on it. So let's draw the free body diagram of the car. It's going to have its weight. Because so that's going to be mg. It's going to have a normal force, like so. <coughs> It has a drag force of this FD, drag force, right? Um, now, I think we all can intuitively understand that the drag force is going to be opposing motion. So this FD, as the car moves in the minus X direction, is going to be directed like so. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. OK, so uh, FD is going to be directed like so. Now, what else is going to be acting on the car? So engine key force. Like, you know. Ek engine key force, okay, exactly. Or what about friction? It will use hogi, theta is 90 years. No, no, no. I don't have the coefficient, so friction will not get out ये बड़ा ये अच्छा जवाब है जब मैं बताया ही नहीं है तो फिर हम कहां से उसको लेके आए इसलिए हम उसको गोली मार देते हैं और इग्नोर कर देते हैं एक्चुअली इट्स अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ इट्स अ मिक्सचर ऑफ बोथ दीस थिंग्स बेसिकली आई थिंक यू गाइस आर फैमिलियर विद द फैक्ट दैट और आप कहेंगे आज क्यों जाके ने ये याद आई और आज कह रही है पहले तो हमेशा जब भी कोई चीज जा रही होती तो फ्रिक्शन को हम अपोज करते हुए मोशन बना लेते थे बट व्हाट आई वाज अबाउट टू से वाज के यू गाइस मे रिकॉल के Whenever we're walking, it's actually as we move forward, um, ground ke saath friction ki vaja se hum aage chal padte Do you guys recall this? Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma friction nahi hogi, wo to ye bhi tire idhar hi ghumte rahenge apni jagah. <laughs> exactly. Agar friction na hoti, to wo smooth surface ke upar wo tire udhar hi ghumte rehte. So uh, what I am taking this to mean is ke wo friction ही है जो 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 इंजन की वजह से गाड़ी रोड के ऊपर अप्लाई कर रही है और फिर रोड कार के ऊपर अप्लाई कर रहा है सच दैट इट इज दिस आइदर यू कॉल इट इंजन ड्राइविंग फोर्स और यू कॉल इट द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स ऑन द ग्राउंड बट इन आइदर केस दैट इज द ड्राइविंग फोर्स व्हिच इज कॉजिंग मोशन मैं ये भी कह सकता हूं कि जो एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी दी हुई है फ्रिक्शन उन्होंने इसके अंदर ही डाल दी होगी ये भी मुनासिब बात है लेकिन उन्होंने इंजन की सिर्फ एफिशिएंसी दे दी है 
पूरे सिस्टम टाइप की होती तो फिर उसमें भी लेकिन हाँ ठीक है चले वही कि अगर और कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं दी तो फिर वी आर गोइंग टू हैव टू कंसीडर के इसी एफिशिएंसी के अंदर ही उस फ्रिक्शनल लॉसेस भी इंक्लूडेड है ठीक है ठीक है बट बात वही है एक्चुअली के एक्सप्लिसिटली फ्रिक्शन रिलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन इज नॉट गिवन विच मीन्स एट आई एम गोइंग टू बी जस्ट एज्यूमिंग वो इन्फॉर्मेशन अगर नहीं दी तो फिर मुझे वो यूज ही नहीं करनी एक्चुअली लेकिन आई एग्री विद यू के ना क्वेश्चन बनाते हुए ये जो रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम है यू हैव टू एक्सप्लिसिटली स्टेट दीज थिंग इफ दैट्स एन एजम्पन यूर मेकिंग यू शुड स्टेट इट चले इन एनी केस बिकॉज इट्स नॉट गिवन वीर गन इग्नोर इट एंड आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू कॉल दिस टू बी माई engines friction sorry force because of the engine which is causing the car to move to the left theek hai ji so let's uh, <clears throat> now find uh the uh, engine's input power right so hame input power find karni hai given ki hamari uski efficiency hai so let's see all of this so his the car's acceleration is 5 meter per second square right or uh, the efficiency is 0.65 so first of all again there is no acceleration in the vertical y direction so let's let me just ignore that for a second and let's just consider ke hamari x direction mein what is happening i know ke mera acceleration kya hai in the x direction and i also know what my drag force is so that means that i can actually find ke what engine force would be required to cause this acceleration right because i can use the equation of motion in the x direction when i apply this then i have that uh, fd is in the positive direction minus fe is equals to minus 5 m right because wo ax jo hai sorry wo maine uh, to the right a सॉरी एक्स जो है टू द राइट पॉजिटिव लिया हुआ है विच इज वाई दिस ए एक्स इज गोइंग टू बी टू द लेफ्ट एज शोन बाई दिस एरो सो दिस इज माई एक्सप्रेशन राइट हियर नो लेट्स सब्सटीट्यूट थिंग्स इन सो एफ डी इज वन पॉइंट टू वी स्क्वेर माइनस दिस इंजिन फोर्स एंड देन माइनस फाइव इंटू टू थाउजेंड सो मेरी फोर्स आ गई वर्ट वन पॉइंट टू वी स्क्वा प्लस टेन थाउजेंड न्यूटन राइट दिस इज माई फोर्स बींग provided by the engine to cause the particular acceleration of the car right great <clears throat> so now let's come to ke what would be the power oh nahi first of all ke uh, uh, what is hum t is equals to 4 seconds pe humne nikalna hai so let's just find out ke what is the velocity of the of the car at t is equals to 4 hum 10000 uh, 0000 थैंक यू थैंक यू कहाँ डालू जीरो की जगह ही नहीं बची ओके सो नाउ लेट्स अप्लाई दिस वॉज दिन ऑफ मोशन दैट इज कानेटिक्स नाउ लेट मी अप्लाई माई किनेमेटिक रिलेशनशिप टू एक्चुअली फाइंड की उसकी वेलॉसिटी होनी क्या है वॉट इज दिस वी स्कोर गोइंग टू बी आर टी इज इक्वल टू फोर सो आई नो दैट द कार इज एक्सिलेटिंग एट अ कॉन्स्टेंट फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर एंड इट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम रेस्ट so i think uh, from wo jo hamari dher sa ki kinematics ki expressions hai i can just use the one for constant acceleration which i know uh, is going to be v is equals to v not plus a constant times t so that is going to be v is equals to minus 5 times 4 which is equals to minus 20 meter per second right So now, what does that tell me? What is my uh, F E going to be? The magnitude of F E is just going to be one point two V squared. Let me find it. Twenty squared into one point two plus ten thousand. That's ten thousand four hundred and eighty. 
newtons to the left and velocity is also to the left so this fe is actually negative right with the sign convention jo maine said here so now that brings me ke what was the output power being provided by the engine to cause this force and this velocity that is power output that is of course going to be f dot v which is what it's just this force because that, that is in the direction directly of the velocity so it's just 10480 multiplied by 20 so i get my output power <clears throat> i'm not going to write down what it turns out to be it's thoda lamba ho gaya finally input power agar hume nikalna tha so i know that my epsilon the efficiency is given by the output power divided by the input power so the input power is going to be p output divided by epsilon and that turns out to be then could someone tell me i think my answer at least is 322 kilowatts ye hi aa raha hai mam ye hi aa raha hai aur idhar uh, all i've done is ki i kept everything in si units until right at the end wo it was turning out to be too long so i just got my kilo in there uh, to make it a little bit more compact perfect so the petrol that we're going to be burning that's actually going to be providing this much of uh, of input power so so this the uh, engines as i as we've discussed have ratings themselves to agar hame is pe jana hai kyun wo choti gaadi bechari jo hai wo 120 pe nahi chal sakti kyunki uski power rating hi nahi hai utni uski horse power hi nahi hai agar dusre amriki terms mein kehna hai to engine ki theek hai there has to be a rate at which it's able to do the work um so uh, using this sort of analysis we can find whether the engine is capable of doing that or not whether the engine ki rating meets that particular power requirement or not uh, be it an engine or motors so ye yeah, hame it's very frequently ki for various applications we have to perform a, a, a power and efficiency analysis so that we can choose the uh, particular uh, engine rating or motor which is able to fulfill the task perfect okay so either this is the solution in the in the slides um but i hope ke uh, it was it was a pretty straightforward problem right so isliye we we are able to do that now let's take a look at another one so uh, i think let's just read through this one so there is an automobile which is having a mass of 2 again uh, 2000 kg which travels up at a slope at a constant speed of 100 km per hour if mechanical friction and wind resistance are neglected determine the power developed by the engine if its efficiency is epsilon 0.65 ji where slope is 7 degrees matlab ye because it's blowing up the slope it has to the the engine has to counter some component of the weight as well then so let's let's see so if uh, this is the free body diagram right where uh, the normal force is like so uh, the weight is acting <coughs> vertically such that there is an angle of theta between the direction of motion and the weight then this force f again which is the force of the engine jiski wajah se the car is moving up <clears throat> ya yeah, phir it's the force that the car is exerting on the road and hence uh, it's equal and opposite this is the uh, uh, this is the force also which is the road is uh applying on the car to move it forwards because of friction basically okay so we want to uh, then find ke is force ki wajah se that is the engine force se uh, kya
kya power what was the power being uh, developed by this force okay so let's see how we'll do that what will we do i have got a little bit of a headache so mera aur bhi zyada slow dimag chal raha hai um i think uh, so yeah exactly so if we just find what this force is of course it's p is equals to f e why, why am i getting so stuck <clears throat> so if i find the force and i i already know what the velocity is then i know what the power being developed by the engine is right um although i'm a little bit confused by the question that determine the power developed by the engine and then the efficiency is also given so are we expected to uh, power have, input find karna पावर इनपुट फाइंड करनी है लेकिन पावर डेवलप्ड पावर आउटपुट नहीं होगी डेवलप जिंग जिंग कर रहा है मैं भी यही सोच रही थी अगेन वही गलत अंग्रेजी लुक लुक के सवाल बना लेते हैं देखिए जरा गलत बात सो लेट्स जस्ट कंसीडर डिटरमिन द पावर इनपुट टू द इंजन है ये राइट अगर एफिशिएंसी गिवन ही है तो ठीक है जी power input to the engine if its efficiency is this right so that's what we're trying to find perfect okay now let's see so we have the velocity here already so all that we actually need to find is the force or wo to straight forward there is no agar if i'm using my x and y coordinates like so up and um along the which is an angle ye theta angle ke upar hai theek hai ji this is an angle theta ke upar maine apne coordinates ko define kiya then i can apply my equation of motion in the x direction I know that there is no acceleration. It tells me it's at a constant speed, so I just have to apply a sort of force balance in the di x direction, which is at F e. That's a plus minus m g ka um, sine theta component, and this will be equal to zero. So this tells me what my applied force is. That's going to be um, two thousand nine point eight one sine of seven degrees. So F E ki koi value hai. Two three nine one. Two three nine one newtons. Two three nine zero. Three significant figures. Yes, ma'am. Newtons velocity. <coughs> Sorry, and then velocity kilometers. Me given excellent. Thank you. So velocity, jo hai wo. ये हम यूनिट कन्वर्ट करने का टेस्ट हो रहा है हमारा इधर किलोमीटर पर आ रहा है दैट मीटर पर सेकंड परफेक्ट सो दिस टेल्स मी व्हाट माय पावर आउटपुट इज व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी एफ ई जस्ट टाइम्स द वेलोसिटी बिकॉज़ दे आर बोथ इन द सेम डायरेक्शन सो आई डोंट आई जस्ट Uh, the cause is zero basically so it's just the product of the magnitudes um and then of course the input power jaise humne pehle discuss kiya tha would just be the output power divided by the efficiency so that turns out to be just to check ke hamara answer sahi hai 27 ab mujhe please let me know what you get i'm getting 103 kilowatts what about you guys mai yeh mai yeh theek hai thank you so 103 kilowatts so if 102 uh, kilo watts theek hai ji so uh, rounding up rounding down etc etc uh, right um so this seems uh, yeah please notice ke 100 किलोमीटर पर आर पे जाने के लिए सेम कार सेम मास ऑन अ वेरी स्मॉल इंक्लाइन विद नो एक्सेलरेशन रिक्वायर्स कंपेरेबल कंपेरेबल पावर इनपुट सो टू स्पीक एज व्हेन इट्स एक्सेलरेटिंग एट अ प्रीटी हाई रेट इसकी एक्सेलरेशन क्या थी उस वक्त 5 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर के ऊपर दिस इज प्रीटी फास्ट इट्स नॉट दैट स्लो okay theek hai ji so whereas here the acceleration is zero and it's just going up the incline perfect okay so we've got uh, again straightforward questions 
Uh, and this is the last example that I want to do today. Very easy peasy short lecture today. So the 100 Newton collar starts from rest at A and is lifted with a constant speed of one meter per second along the smooth rod. So it's being lifted along here with a velocity of one meters per second. Uh, determine the power developed by the force F at the instant shown. Okay, so constant speed, which means that there is no acceleration. So all that I'm trying to do is, let me define my X and Y directions. This is my X, this is my Y. Then applying the equation of motion in the Y direction, constant speed. So there's a zero uh, acceleration in the Y direction. And then hence, I've just got in terms of my free body, I should have started with that, I apologize. It's just this, it's F like so, and MG downwards. Right? So it's just F, this is my theta. So it's F cos theta minus MG is equals to zero. Or cos theta kya hoga? We'll have to find that by using the A and B jo given hai, which is that A is one meters and B is 1.2 meters. So that tells me that my angle theta, is. theta kya hoga? 39 or 0.8. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 39.8. So it's just it's too easy. F is cause of 39.8 minus 100 is equal to 0. So F turns out to be what? 100 divided by cause of this. 130. So the power is F dot V. Now noting that F jo hai, uska, uh, it's not, it's just got one component in the direction of velocity. So we do need the vector dot product. So that's going to be F ka magnitude v ka magnitude cause of the angle between them so wo to 100 hi ho gaya mujhe wo theta nikalne ki bhi zarurat nahi thi i'm sorry so that would just be 100 times 1 which is equals to 100 watt aisa hi hai main ab yahan pe inhone force uh, sorry power develop ka hua aur wo nahi diya hua efficiency nahi di bhi ha ah, yes um, Sirat, uh, I'll be careful that when I I ask you guys stuff, then I'll try that it should be clear rather than some ambiguous words being used. Also, ma'am, we got to use, you know, the way we solve this right now, could we also have done, um, okay. Yes. Uh, could we also have done, you know how on the collar, the force is acting in the y directions. It's only basically f cos theta and the yep. weight. So yep. f cos theta is equal to the weight, right? Yeah. So can we, and that's the force acting in the direction. So can't we just do 100 times 1 without doing all of this? Completely right. So I'm sorry, I didn't notice that it dot product. Ho jana. And you're completely right. Ke idhar se hi, we just know that f cos theta is equals to mg. It's just, so, and we need this. Mm -hmm. We, there is no need to be finding theta. Okay. You're right. Yep. So this is too easy. So like in any way, our light uh, lecture ho gaya and uh, inshallah from tomorrow uh, we'll have our uh, quiz for the NT and R theta one and carry on with uh, this time for tomorrow we'll be doing conservation of energy. So again, carrying on with some things which you have but just uh, um, these things are, they're pretty basic, but they're so fundamental that it's important to have all your bases, basics completely clear for everything that comes up later on in life, right? Because uh, you will be very easy to do, but with all these issues, any design project that you're involved with, 
not any jale lekin the vast majority have some sort of either kinematic or kinetic analysis involved so so that's why we just need to be very confident that we know how to do this analysis it will chase you for your uh, education right now and even for a lot of you agar aap design aur un cheezon mein jayenge it will chase you in your careers in the in the future as well so so that's is what we're trying to do um and inshallah it will help you gear up for your mechanics of machines and your final year project where uh, dynamics features pretty heavily right okay class so any any questions from your side i'm i'm still i'm here for a couple more minutes mam mechanics of machines aap padhayengi uh nahi abdullah wo normally sir rehan padhate hote hain sir rehan मेरा क्या हाल होता है बेचारे स्टूडेंट का क्या हाल होता है वो लोग सारी नौकरी करके आते हैं नौ से पांच और फिर आगे से जाके तीन घंटे हम uh what to bilkul i am talking to myself during those classes um but i tend to te- teach uh, more fundamental courses related to solid mechanics so stress analysis or is tarah ki cheeze so mechanics of materials one mechanics of materials two uh, finite element method ye wale no oh, main wo aap padhayengi <laughs> kyunki humne sir soil se nahi padhna <laughs> मुझे <laughs> 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 सर मैं किसी और सर की बात कर रहा था कहां गया एक मिनट चेक कर ले उसको छोड़े है मैं रिकॉर्डिंग भी चल रही है मैम ये हम कट करके ना सर सोहेल को व्हाट्सएप कर देंगे पहले तो मैं <laughs>